after watching the Mr. McMahon documentary, I am even more appalled, disgusted, and ashamed of the way that man ran this wonderful, wonderful company known as the WWE. We already knew Mr. McMahon himself, a.k.a. Vince McMahon, was a steaming pile of dog shit. But after watching this documentary, he is even more vile, even more disgusting. And these six episodes show you exactly what type of man Vince is. Now, the first four episodes talk about the stuff we already knew about the episodes. Talk about, obviously, when Vince bought out the company from his dad, the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era, and all of the scandals and all the other nonsense. Now, I'm going to take some of Vince's quotes, and I'm going to make him sound stupid. For example, Vince admits to being abused as a child, okay? He has the audacity to sit there and say that being abused and using that as a crutch is a weakness. But what do you do, Vince, yourself? You have abused so many women over your tenure. It's not even funny. And then don't get me started on the whole scandals. We've already known about a lot of those, but there is one that I, even I didn't know about. All I'm going to say is, Vince McMahon pulled a Diddy before Diddy got caught. I'm going to leave it at that. And then, we go into the whole Bret Hart screw job era, and then the whole Owen Hart tragedy. And this, this is what also pisses me off. Vince could have ended the show. He should have ended that show after Owen Hart's tragic death. But no, what does he do? He leaves Owen's blood still on the ring and tells all the boys to go perform still. And then he babbles on about, oh, well, if that were me and... My, if my son was running the company and I fell splat on the mat and died, I'd say, take me out. The show must go on. Vince, you fucking piece of garbage. You have no soul. And then he sits there and says he has no sympathy for people who retire. And that need that they need to go die. Because if you're not constantly learning every single time... You're dead. Vince, fuck off, dude. And then he admitted to having some weird storyline where he wanted to impregnate his daughter, Stephanie. Yeah, this this stuff goes bonkers and just... It's disturbing. But there's two more incidences... Where Vince is babbling that just make me question everything. So we all know about the whole Chris incident where he got rid of his family, right? And himself. Well, apparently I didn't know that back then that everybody thought concussions were a joke in the CTE was not even a real thing. Even Austin himself said that CTE 
doesn't exist and it's a cop-out. Austin, that's a terrible hot take, dude. You literally got dropped on your head. And you were concussed. Terrible, ta- terrible hot take. And then Vince had the audacity when The Undertaker got concussed. To say that Undertaker never got concussed. That Undertaker was just in the awe and shock of the moment of losing the streak. Are you kidding me, Vince? What type of delusional island are you in? But I think the one thing out of all of his stupid things that made me question his sanity the most is the fact that Shane McMahon wanted to do a creative idea, right? And Vince said, and I quote, If you want this creative idea badly enough, you have to stab me in the heart to get it across. You have to freaking kill me for your creative idea to go through. Asking your own son to stab you because you don't like a creative idea? And that's the only way you'll get it done? Guys, and then the final episode of this entire disturbing thing really, really opens things up. And I do mean it unfolds every single thing. Obviously, the recent allegations that Vince was in. And it just, and then, and then freaking Bruce Pritchard, you ass kissing little shit stain. You're on here saying that, oh, I think this is terrible. I think this is a gotcha piece. You guys are being biased. This is only here to make Vince look, Vince look bad. Make Vince look like a shitty individual. Blah, 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 blah. I was there in real life. It's personal to me. Bruce, Vince is an asshole. Vince is a piece of shit. Vince McMahon is a sorry excuse of a human being. And another thing that Vince did that made himself look absolutely hypocritical. Sitting here giving this sob story about how he was poor and how he hates rich people and he's going to make sure he doesn't act just like that. You acted just like them, Vince. I'm sorry. As much as I appreciated the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, it's our fault. Us wrestling fans created this problem. Did we need bra and panties matches? No. Did we need Edge and Lita to have a live fun celebration? No, we certainly did not. Did we need it to be that freaking chaotic and that freaking out of control? No, we did not. I get it. The time and the place was needed to be there. But we created a monster. Sorry, we didn't create a monster. Vince was already a monster, but we fueled a monster even more. And I am so glad that Triple H is now in charge of the company. Because the way Vince treated his wife, the way Vince treated his daughter, Stephanie, the way he was so rude to his son, the way he treated the female talents is disturbing, ladies and gentlemen. Making Trish Stratus go on her, on, down on her four knees and bark like a dog. The fact that Vince was so fascinated with hooking up with his talent and doing, may I say, very disturbing and 
ton of good things that I don't think I can get into because I'm pretty sure this video is already going to get blocked already just off of what I've already said. Do I... Th I will wrap it up with this. Do I think you should watch the documentary? No. I don't think you should give this man any more publicity. I don't think this man needs to have any more out in the open. This did expose a lot of Mr. McMahon. But I think there's hiding things. Because Vince said in the first 10 seconds of episode 1, Oh, the stories, the stories that I could tell you, holy shit. That tells me that there are things that Vince is still hiding. And if we get a season 2, Vince, you can't run from it this time. Because once Pandora's box opens and if we get a season 2 of your twisted, disturbing piece of garbage self, you're done. So there you go, guys. I That is my thoughts on the Mr. McMahon documentary. I watched this horrid thing so you don't have to. So please consider subscribing to the channel for my sanity. Because I did it for you guys. I didn't plan on covering this. But I did it for you guys. So in return, smack the like button and subscribe to the channel. And until the next better review, peace.